whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. What's up? I'm just out here trying to beat the rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me. I hope not. If it does, whatever. I don't mind rain. So I get asked a lot about my helmet, my Icon Armada Spazdic purple helmet. So I thought that I would write, not write, I actually did write a blog about it, so if you've already read my blog, then this is pretty much just an overview of what I wrote in there. But I want to talk about my helmet a little bit. I absolutely, hands down, love this helmet. I've only had Icon helmets, and this was definitely an upgrade from my last Armada, but it's just nice. First, let's talk about the pretty purple. It's so pretty. Oh, chain tracks are making me go bumpy. I love the purple and the sparkly -ness. I've had a hard time finding a helmet that I actually like the looks of it. I've mostly had just plain black helmets and just stickered it out to my preference. But... This one just spoke to me. I literally saw it probably a couple days after it launched through Icon, and I immediately was like, I have to have this helmet. So I got a hold of my friends at Adrenaline Moto here in Utah and told them I wanted it, and they got it for me within two days. So that was pretty freaking awesome. I love this helmet for so many reasons. Obviously, like I was just saying, the purple. I can't get over purple. I love purple. But it's a great fitting helmet. It's nice and snug. The padding fits my face well. It's comfortable. It's not too tight. Um, it's DOT and ECE approved. If you don't know what ECE is, it's just a different kind of standard of testing, like, um, what's the other one? Uh, Snell. So it's, it's pretty similar to Snell. So ECE, DOT, safety, all the way. Um, it comes with two shields. It comes with a clear shield and a smoke shield, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't like to ride at night with smoked visors. Some people will, but I don't like that at all. I don't feel like that's safe. I don't feel comfortable doing it. So I like to just swap out my clear visor really fast. And with this Armada, it's so easy. My last Armada trying to take the shield on and off just to clean it was the biggest pain in the butt ever. But with this shield, it's really nice. You can just literally pop it right out pop the old one or pop whatever one line you want and go it seriously takes me like 30 seconds so that's a huge plus um it also has plenty of vents for nice circulation and stuff like that but i can't even tell you how many compliments i got on my helmet it's super easy to pick me out when i'm out riding and people will be like hey i saw you riding with your purple helmet and i'm like yep yeah, that's me. So, I love it. Um, really, my only dislikes about this helmet is I get a slight whistle when I'm going at a certain speed through the vent. But it's an easy fix. I just pop the vent closed and that takes care of it. Um, the only other dislike that I have about this helmet is it chips really I mean maybe not really easy but it chips fairly easy I have a few chips that have taken out the purple and that makes me pretty sad but that's I mean that's the worst of it and I never wrecked with it so I can't say how it felt when I wrecked but overall 
despite the little whistle and despite the rock chips, I would have to give this helmet a 5 out of 5. It 5 out of 5 because it fits well, it is interchangeable, I guess if that's the right word. I mean, you can go from smoked visor to a clear visor in less than 30 seconds. Um, it's comfortable, it has good airflow, and it just looks freaking awesome. I will never, I think I'll probably just keep buying this helmet until it goes out of production if I ever need another helmet to be quite honest with you because it just fits me so perfectly. I love it! So yeah, that's my Icon Armada Spazdig helmet for you. It's a great buy. It's only $270 and compared to a lot of helmet manufacturers, it's really not that bad. And you still get all of the same quality and safety that you get with the other helmets. It's just cheaper because Icon's amazing. I love all the things Icon. They're the best. So let's talk about biker chicks. What is so great about biker chicks? I feel like people kind of treat biker chicks like this rare exotic animal and it's so cool and ooh, look at the biker chick, she rides. And I just kind of think it's funny. I also think it's pretty cool. I mean, I can't complain. I think it's great to ride and I think it's great to be a girl who rides. I like the fact that I can hold my own out riding and I'm sure that every other biker girl feels the same way about that. There's something invigorating about not riding on the back of someone else's motorcycle. And that's a pretty good feeling. So, just kind of makes me laugh that they're so like, woo, biker chick. But like I said, I kind of like it. So, there are some pretty amazing girls out there who rock it, just like the guys. And, I mean, just to name a few, there's Shalina Moreta, there's Melissa Paris, Valerie Thompson, I mean, obviously from Instagram, Red Spade. These are all pretty amazing women. Like, I could go on and on and on, but I don't have time to do that. So, these women are definitely paving the way for helping other girls feel comfortable and getting out there and riding. And I think that's pretty awesome. I mean, I love riding, but if I can also use it to help other women get into riding, then that's pretty cool. I saw this quote the other day and I know I'm going to slaughter it, but I'll try anyways. And it was something like, it's great to be inspired, but it's a it's an even better honor to be the one inspiring. Something like that. And I think that's pretty cool. So, I think every biker chick out there is really great for getting out there and doing what they love and holding their own with guys and proving that whatever guys can do, girls can do too. And I love that. I'm definitely not like a feminist or anything, but definitely like that I can hold my own with a bunch of dudes so that's pretty cool so but being a biker chick really as it comes down to it is not all lace and rubber and the exciting things that people think it is sometimes it's hard like and not in the ways that you would think hard I mean I guess hard is not the best description but it's hard to find gear it's hard to find a bike that fits, I guess you can say. I mean, I'm not super tall. I'm 5'3", and my bike is lowered, and that was kind of a pain in the butt. And then finding gear has not been easy. Nothing fits right, and it's just fun sometimes. And I, I mean, I can't complain. I have gear that fits. Icon's really awesome about making gear that fits. And they have other places out there that really work to make sure that they have a, a good female fit. But not everyone does, so thank you to the brands that actually do focus on making sure that women have good fitting gear and feel comfortable and also feel sexy in it, so thanks to you. So, yeah. 
Well, I'm hot. I'm gonna flip around right here, I think. Have a great day and be safe out there riding if you choose to go and ride. And if you don't, that's a mistake. Go ahead and follow my Instagram if you haven't already and my Facebook and I have Twitter, but I don't know how to use it. And then like, comment, share, subscribe to YouTube. Woo! Yay! Have a fantastic day. I love you all. Bye!